to see puzzle blanket. Um, so for this project, you're going to need an H hook. You're going to need a pair of scissors. And of course, you're going to need a yarn needle to sew in any loose ends. And of course, our yarn. Now, um, I am using two colors. And I am using the Simply Soft yarn. This is a uh, mango and grape. And of course, I'll have all the links um, in my blog. And of course, the link to the blog will be down in the description. Um, now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. And I'm starting right here. Um, before I start, I just wanted to say something. Okay, so I'll have the link for this graph so you can have the graph. But also, if you don't want to use the Simply Soft, that's fine. You just need to use a yarn that is the same thickness as this. If you don't, just remember if you use something thinner, this blanket will come out smaller. And if you use something uh, thicker, then it will come out much bigger. And you, if you use something thicker, you may also need to go up in your hook. Same if you use a thinner yarn, you may need to go down and hook. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And we're just going to, for this first part, we're just gonna see to see 22 rows as I've already did my back and forth here so that way when I get to start when I um, get to my purple or my last row here for yellow when I get to my purple I know which way I need to go so I'm just gonna go ahead and chain three or six I'm sorry four five and six and then I'm going to do a half double crochet in the third chain from the hook and then I'm gonna half double crochet in the next two chains so that's one and two and this is my first block there um, in the written pattern I will say that you need maybe one block or two block this is what I mean when I say block so then we're going to chain three, one, two, and three, turn our work. I'm sorry, not three, six. I don't know why I keep doing three. Four, hmm, five, and six. And then again, I'm going to half double crochet in the third chain. So that's one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do that and the half double crochet in the next chain and in our last chain now I'm going to slip stitch right here where I have my space and then I'm gonna chain three one two I'm sorry not three six Why do I keep doing that uh oh three four five six to start my new chain oh you know what messed up once I do my slip stitch I chain two and then I go back into the same uh, chain space and I do three half double crochets one two and three and now as you can see one and two and this would be one and this is the two blocks here and now I do the six when I am starting a new row so one two three four five and six and then I turn and I'm gonna have double crochet in the third chain and then half double crochet in the next two chains so one and two and then I'm going to slip stitch in the chain space chain two one two and then three half double crochets in that chain space so one that's two and this is three 
Then again, I slip stitch in the chain space, chain two, then three half double crochets. So one, two, and three. And then I chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Starting my new row. So this is three rows because I have three blocks on top. So again, I'm gonna half double crochet in that third chain and then half double crochet in the next two, one and two, and then slip stitch in those chain spaces, chain two, and three half double crochet in those spaces. So one, two, and three. Then again, slip stitch in the chain space, chain two, and then three half double crochet. So one, two, and three. And then one more time, we're gonna slip stitch, chain two, three half double crochets, and that chain three space. So one, two, and three. And now, as you can see, we have four. One, two, three, four, and this is our fourth row. So you need to have 22 blocks here. Because these are considered our blocks, so 22 blocks. And remember, you're chaining six to start your new row. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're half double crocheting in the chain, in the third chain. There we go. And then in the next two, so one, and two. And then you just wanna continue this on until you have your 22 rows. Um, as you can see, I, I have finished uh, doing my C2C for 23 rows, and now I have numbered uh, the next row, which is 20, I'm sorry, 22 rows. 23 is the next row, and I've numbered. So here's my grape color that I'm using, and it's easier for me to number them so I know how many blocks I need to do. So when I get started, since I finished this way, as you can see, my arrow is going, I'm going to go that way. So this will be the first one that I would do. So I would put one, uh, one block in grape, and then as I numbered these, there are 21, so 21 blocks in the mango color, and then the last one will be one block in grape. So in order to do that, I would get my purple, I'm sorry, my grape color here, and I would do my next chain to start my next row, but I chain in the grape color. So one, two, uh-oh, hold on, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I just continue like normal. So, I go ahead and put one half double crochet in the third chain, and then in the next two. So that will be two, uh-oh. And this is three. There we go. Now before I close that off, because it's only one block, here it's only one block so this is my block so I have to switch before I finish that half double crochet to change it back and I'm gonna carry my uh, grape along as I go ahead 
and do my normal half double crochets, my normal T2C. And I would do 21 of these. And I'm just gonna crochet over the tail and the yarn. I'm just gonna carry it with me. down here I just finished number uh oh I just finished number 23 this square right here so this is the last square which is a grape color and I only need to do one so this would be my last block here so before I finish this half double crochet I'm gonna finish it with my grape and I'm going to crochet over my mango and I'm just going to go in and chain two and continue the same pattern so one, two, and then three. And then I know there's more purple coming next, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this off. And now to make sure that I know I finished this row, um, I like to just draw a arrow through it, telling me which way I went and now I'm up here since I'm going this way so then I'm up here so then I would just number one two two blocks in grape then I would just number my mango color so it's two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14 and 15 and then 16 17 18 19 and that's 20 and then I have two grapes so one and two so I'm starting from here so I would do two of the grape colors and then I do 20 in mango so flipping this over I'm gonna Bring it out just a little. So flipping this over, let's see if I can uh, untangle this a little bit. There we go. Okay. So now, and I'm going to crochet uh, over my mango color. But so I have two in the grape color. So then that would mean I would just chain my six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I would just do the same thing I was doing. Half double crochet in the third chain and then the next two chains. So it's one and this is two. And then here's where I'm gonna crochet over. So I'll just bring this up and crochet right there. That doesn't look right. Huh. Okay, anyways, one and two. And then have so one, two, and three. And before I finish it, I'm gonna switch to my mango. So that's my two. Now I'm going to do 20 
and the mango color. And make sure you pull on the yarn that you're crocheting over, not too hard, but just enough that um, it doesn't kind of hang out of the cracks. my 20 in the mango color now the last two on my graph which was here these last two here are great so before I finish this half double crochet I'm going to finish it with my great now I'm just going to go ahead and finish my last two blocks in great since that's what's on my chart Now, so, so this is what you should have so far. And now, I'm going to go ahead and following my chart, I'm just going to go ahead and cross this off in the direction that I went making an arrow letting me know that I went in that direction. And I'm just gonna use my pencil again and I'm gonna write on my chart how many. So one, two, three in my grape. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, and then one, two, three in my grape color. So if you keep following the graph and numbering, it makes it much easier to put in your blocks when you're doing your C2C. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish mine up off camera. Um, I'll probably stop somewhere in the middle just to show you um, what it looks like and how far I have gotten. I'm gonna get ready to do rounds 32 or row 32 not rounds um, I just wanted to show you how it's going to look when you go from the grape to the mango and making this uh, 
right here, the, the other part, the outer part of the puzzle piece. So it's going to be different than one side. So here is uh, row 31. And as you can see, it's different. So this here would be this block right here. And I could just zoom, okay. So this block would be this one. And then the one, these two here, would be these two. So as long as you are doing your arrows to tell you which way you're going, and you're numbering, your picture should come out correct. So I'm going to continue to do mines off camera, and then when I get to this middle part, I will uh, come back and show you what it looks like so far. Okay, so as you can see, I have just finished row 43. And after row 43, going back in the other direction, which I will need to number, um, as you can see, there is no more increase. It's starting to decrease. So I wanted to show you how to decrease. Let me just number these real quick six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one and i'm pretty sure there's 21 on the other side i'll number those in a minute but what i wanted to show you and i'm just gonna bring it in is that how it decreases here. So, when you finish row uh, 43, so I'm gonna take this apart just so you can see. So when you finish row 43 and you come to your last half double crochet, instead of slip stitching and then chaining the six to continue, you're just going to go in and you're just gonna slip stitch and stop. And you can count these. You should have, you should have 21. Yes, you should have 21 from the last uh, row. So now I'm going to bring you out just a little bit. So in order to start this and start the decrease, what you do is you want to single crochet across. So now that we slip stitch, we're just going to go through these until you get to our chain two space here. So you're just going to go once one, two, and a three is right here. And then you're gonna do a slip stitch in the chain two space, and you're gonna chain two, one, two, just like you would if you were um, increasing. And then you would just continue on. So one, two and three there we go and so then you would just continue on with your pattern which i have 21 in the grape that i need to do and then you do the same thing when you get to the end here instead of doing the six you're just gonna slip stitch and leave it and then you're gonna repeat what we just did here to continue back and forth and you're going to do that to de keep decreasing so there's no more six you're just slip stitching and then you're um single crocheting and then you're slip stitching in the chain two and continuing the pattern 